Hey everybody, welcome back to the Council of Reeds. I'm Dylan, here with Jason. G'day. Nitin. Hello. Fami. Hey, hey. And Dave. Hidden behind Dylan, brought to you by KFC. What's going on with my hair? I need a haircut. <laughs> See myself in the camera. What's <laughs> going on? Okay, thank my you time. for that, the both usual. of you. Yeah. There we go. Put the hat on. Jason's putting a hat on for you listeners out there. Oh, double J with the hats on. Yeah. Alrighty, our featured comic books this week. Uh, Thor 25. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. Make me look like an idiot. And this is the very cover because uh, we got shorted on the regular covers. But, um, yes. Yes, that's part two of Banner of, Banner of War, right? Mm. Yes. Um, and I hate this place, number one. I had a feeling. That was interesting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we also got the She Hulk trailer to talk oh. about. Um, <coughs> Dave and I watched the Halo finale. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Flat chance of fire should be playing. I'll try the like cough, but I can't. Okay. Which is probably a good thing, right? Mm. I don't know. Please continue. <laughs> okay, and um season three of Love Love, Death and Robots came out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um it's always good. Three of us watch the whole yeah. thing? Yeah. Cool. And lastly, film flashback. Yeah. Fummy's uh basketball. Yes, I wish it was Fummy's basketball, but yeah. All the people. All the people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Come on, let's go, little bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Comic books. Start with Thor. Might as well. Start with Thor. So, Battle of War, part two. 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 Um, Slash Thor 25. Um, Happened in a bar. Man. Wow. Happened in a bar. How good was it? Holy moly. All right. Without maybe getting into too much specifics, but. Last issue, we teased what the Hulk had been teasing for a while, yeah, that something happening between Paso, Immortal yeah. and this, New Mexico. Yeah, on that El Paso. La- last, um, last issue, we found out that 17 people died, or 18 people yep. died. And yep. I was a bit like, and? That happens every time the Hulk does stuff. Let's be honest. We found out how. Yeah, and oh. you're like, okay. Oh, yeah. I understand why this is a bit of a bigger deal. Yeah. Doubly. I also find it weird they did it in the Thor book instead of the Hulk book. Just about to mention 100%. that. I love it. I love that I did it in the, in the Thor book. Not but... only that, I feel we need to also mention that this is a oversized issue of Thor because yes, it's, it's 25. It's yes. weird. And it's got a two, lot of two, two, back two backups in it. Yeah. This, this, the Falco and Ron Friends one was supposed to be in 24. Oh, really? I have no doubt. Because, you know, they were all... Yeah, they were telling the, stories. The, yeah, at, at the funeral. That's right. And it's all Odin stories. Oh. This is it's Odin and... Uh, Enchantress. Yeah. But even starts like, ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, second thing about Odin. Yeah. Right. Uh, this was definitely designed for the previous one. issue. Okay. We... I have no doubt. Um, and then somebody probably realised, oh, we could chuck it in the next one and chuck an extra two bucks on Yeah, and have the Hulk people buying it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's heavy. It's Kate's World, man. Kate's World. Yeah, it's a bit rough. I didn't read the second backup. No, no, no. Full disclosure. I didn't read the backups at all. I didn't care. Yeah. I, I read the wrong friends one. The second one is based on the actual one of the Norse mystics. Yes, yes. It's pretty cool. That Tony Stark page oh. about the deep space probe. That was yeah. awesome. And, everything. and then that next panel with like, Spider-Man with yeah. the Ravens is just <laughs> like, like really Yeah, no, I thought Odin's Ravens told me. Yeah, that, is, <laughs> yes. that was great. That was yes. excellent. Yeah. That's just... The, the, the reveal of uh, what Iron Man's new Ooh. Hulk Buster is is excellent. Wow. Crazy. Mm. And that's just... And that's why I'm glad they did that set up in Thor for that next issue. Yeah. It's just yeah. a shame Ollie's not doing it, but yeah, mm. still. I'm enjoying... The, there's a couple of weird panels of art. Uh, I know face a few weird faces in this, to be honest, but I still enjoyed it. I, it's like, I don't believe the art is as good as the writing in this right now, mm-hmm. as it has been in the normal Hulk book. Um, because this isn't the guy that does Thor, is it? Art and... Uh, no. The art. No, no. Uh, yeah, I know it's Kate's, but yeah. Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't think so. Who's on that? Chichil? Chichil? Cocolio? Nah. Cocolo? Yeah. Nah. Todd Cocolo. Klein, Cocolo. Just the right. regular guy? But yeah, I'm. he's done, like we said last, uh, two weeks ago, he did so well to essentially allow people to easily jump onto two books mm. uh, and with really good storyline. That, that, everything with Odin, man, was so good. Mm. Ah, so and the, 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 the bar stuff, the, like double of... What happened to some people? Like, infecting? Why? Yeah, like what happened? Yeah, yeah. Infecting some people, shall we say? That was insane. And yeah. then... 
So yeah, was that what a, happened to them then? Woo! Because yeah, was that a projection? Was that yeah? Like, it just it makes me feel like leader straight yeah, yeah, up, yeah. but hoping not. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, very interesting. Hmm. Can't say too much more. But no, yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely definitely worth jumping on because the story itself is is really good. Oh, if you plan, if you're reading Hulk and you plan on skipping the two Thor issues, oh, big mistake. Oh, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. you, you got to buy. It. It's very vital. Yes. No, it's not a you know. Oh, it's a bit of a scam. Uh, but it's not. It's not a scam. No, it, it's mu- it's must. Read. You'll miss half the story. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a must. Literally read. miss half the story. Yeah. It's a good book. Now, if you're a Thor person so far, you'd maybe be able to skip it. Hmm. Like, it hasn't really progressed the Thor story that much. That is true. But that is so far. But it's a Thor book, so you get it by it anyway. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because you get two Thor backup stories. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, and you need to see the new dynamic with Odin, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Which um, is, yeah, really cool. Especially the end where he's yelling, like, you know, bring me back. I need to go yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was really... Yeah. That was a very, very good issue. Hmm. Building well. Very good. All right, next up. I hate this place. Number one. Um, Dave, you read this. Tell us all about it. Oh, wait, now nah, you you can get the next one. Don't worry. Dylan, tell us all about it. Um, okay, this couple, it's two women, they mm-hmm. move into a, like a farm, a farmhouse yes, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, it was like um, a dead house, yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically she inherited it kind of from, from her auntie. Yes. And everything seems all right. They're going to try and make some money off the livestock and then use that money to start their yep. lives in the, in the city. And all of a sudden... Um, UFOs mm. Mm. and ghosts. Or well, like they get told before, like they stop at the servo and the, the old bloke's like, oh, are you one of those UFO chasers going out of the farm? No, I just inherited a well. I hope you like aliens. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, the girlfriend is uh, a bit of a uh, doomsday prepper. Yep. So, and she's got guns. Yeah. Figuratively and literally. Yep. <laughs> but there's a weird uh, video room. Yeah, with VHS tapes yeah. and stuff and you, everywhere. You think it's Complete a panic facts room? of life or something <laughs> like that. Do you see? Um, yeah, you think it's a panic room, but it's actually not. It's somewhat of a calm room, if anything, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It was interesting. It is. I, I, did, I didn't mind it. It didn't knock my socks off, but the. The rules that they sort of then tell you what the rules are going to yeah. be, and you're like, well, one of them's broken already. I'm, I'm intrigued. Um, mm. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I like the art. Yes, it fits. Yes. Um, but yeah, you like some supernatural stuff. Horror kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, because it's, mm. it's a bit weird that there's both ghosts and UFOs. Yes, um, and potentially something else too yes, in the yes, woods. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the hell's going on there? Uh, uh, looming in the background of the cupboard. Too. Yeah, yeah so, so I don't know. But interesting. That might be I was intrigued. It could be a good trade. Yeah, you yeah. Run for your life, if you see that one. Yeah, no. Nah, the Wendigo. I read it just for Ooh, this, Wendigo. really. But I was like, oh, I'll check out issue two because I need exactly. to see what happens. All right, now Dave, you can go. Since All right. You might be the only one that read it. I didn't. Might have read it. No, I didn't. Oh, no, no, oh look at me go. Okay. <laughs> Duo. Duo. It's about a young couple. It's a duo? Yes. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, Otherwise. they're married guys. Well, I read the synopsis. It's, it's... Oh, I'll take over this. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just giving a background because you got the thing wrong straight away. <laughs> it's set on Earth M, which is the Milestone Earth. Also, it is the Milestone Earth? Yes, okay. Earth M. Milestone Earth. What happens in this Milestone Earth? It's the Milestone books. <laughs> Static Shark. Harbinger. Not Harbinger. Hardware. Hardware. <laughs> We're a mess on that time. For sure. Yeah. You're the one who read yeah, it. I didn't read it. You laid the foundation. Right. Right. It was about this young couple experimenting with nanotechnology to make the world a better place. And they find out they're starting to get a bit of a god complex. And the founder sh- sort of shuts it down. But then something happens. And it's pretty much the founder trying to protect his assets. And then... I go fire Yeah. Cool, pretty cool, much. cool, pretty cool, much. cool, cool. I get you. I wish I could create something where I had a god complex. <laughs> you don't have a god complex over this sh- shop here? Nah. Don't need to create anything to have a god complex, bro. Yeah. We, can, we can get there. Well, I I think I should run the world. <laughs> I already know I'm better than everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> You're so good. You'd love it. Most of you anyway. <laughs> oh, to me, there'd be no world. But, 
No world. Right, okay. Yeah. The other one. Okay. I'd just... be happy with four and three weekend. Just give me three day weekend every week. That'd be that'd be pretty. That'd be halfway there to be honest. Okay, but the, the the comic, Dave. Is there anything else to be said about the comic? Not really. Uh, really. Not without making a joke. That's probably distasteful. <laughs> Moving yeah, right along then. Yeah. Okay. What it's written got? by uh, Greg Park and Art is Square Fan. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, looked all right. I really liked the cover. I thought mm. the cover was quite striking. Greg Park or Greg Park? Park. I just said the same. Greg Park. Whatever. Park. Okay. I thought you said Park. So. I did say Park. Is this like anyway. a get back because you dissed him at the start? Yeah, no, I, it's on here. What's going on? Do I need to anyway, say no, 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 it? Or something? It's Greg Pak. Okay, cool. But the Park. pronunciation is probably more correct than when he said it. What's next? <laughs> on you or different Savage Avengers. Uh, interesting choice to put a new Savage Avengers out, which was essentially a Conan vehicle when Marvel's just lost the rights to Conan. But <laughs> is whatever. He is he in the book? Yeah, he's the main dude. Wait, what's the last one? Him? Um... Uh, what? Yeah, they had the rise like a year and a half ago. Is it yeah, they had it for like five nah, years. But what, no, well, sorry, okay, sorry. They only really kicked in books. Well, how long was that Jason Aaron run being? Oh, ages. ages. Ages, yeah. 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 Maybe just for sure. Well, the previous Savage Avengers went for no, like 20, 20, 20, 25, yeah. 30 episodes. Yeah, 30 issues, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, well, they've. I think they're still. They're still going to do the um, reprint and the omnibuses and stuff sure. like that. Uh, I think the. It's probably just a mutual agreement. Okay. The people, the Conan rights holders, want to cash in. Why? Maybe they can, or before it gets a bit because of uh, public domain and copyright stuff. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Okay. Obviously, I think those rules will change in the next. Isn't it already years. copyright because the the Sumerian book came out from in Europe. In they Europe. got a short. They got a shorter. Years right, yeah, yeah, yeah. than America, so that's why you have the Sumerian book, which uh, Blaze published, but they're reprints of European because yeah. the, the early shirt stories are already in public domain. Yeah. They can't call it Conan because that's an yeah. IP that's copyrighted, or whatever. It's Jeez, complicated. So, like the, the owners are gonna, I think, like, yeah, well, cool, Marvel, you can do the trade, and I think still use him. Okay. Uh, and obviously, I don't think it was didn't set the sales on fire. For Marvel, so eh, well, everyone, if everyone gets what they want out of it, yeah. they get double the licensing fee. Marvel still get to produce yep. the classic stuff that they probably really yeah. want. Um, but anyway, so uh, this one, a Deathlock is chasing Conan, essentially. Okay. And then other stuff's going on, so you get a an Avengers moment, like all the heroes were around. They sort of ah, oh. mm-hmm. Weapon H is getting some dude tries to mug him. Um, he doesn't know his Weapon H, he's just the kid. You know, Weapon H is the Hulk Wolverine mix character from a few years ago. Um, while that's going on, Dane Whitman's at the bar getting drunk. He sees some bloke getting, about to get robbed, so he goes out to save him. But by the time he gets there, dude's turned into a Hulk monster. Uh, Cloak and Dagger doing Cloak and Dagger stuff. Electra, Daredevil's there. It's an interesting mix of a team, to be honest. And you got and um, a- Agent Anyman? Yeah. yeah. So they're all sort of just, things are going around, they just... Ah, oh, you know, faithful day come together. Very classic sort of stuff. But the main thing is a Deathlock is. Is it def- take the same Deathlocks from the current Jason Aaron Avengers mm-hmm. kind of stuff? Similar thing that they want to, is uh, a time variant problem or whatever. Okay. You know what I mean. Uh, so how did Conan rock up in the MCU then? That started in the MCU. first Savage Avengers volume. Uh, he just got sent in a portal or something. Yeah. Radio. MacGuffin Magic. sort of thing. Magic. Very MacGuffin. Yeah. And this, uh, spoilers, that's Wizard how this did. one ends. Where's it did it? Let me set back. Oh, okay. Um, Doug Tubble. So it's a father of issue too. The art was really nice. Um, I really liked the art, actually. Yeah, I've got it there to read. I just didn't get to it. Yeah, it was, it was there fine. Is a, there is a lot in here for the art. So, like, yeah, the art's excellent. Like you get some really fun. nice big panels, especially introducing all the characters. Mm. They all get their hero shot. Even just like backgrounds. Yeah. You know, like it's just full. It's full. And, penciled. Yeah. It's penciled. Oh, The story was okay. Bit, yeah. bit heavy on the wording. Okay. A little bit of reading in there. Um, but it was alright. Too many of them like reading words. words. Yeah, I don't like the reading words. Uh, oh, well, this book has not so much reading words. Uh, not as much. Superman Batman World's Finest number three. Tell us a little about it, Dylan. I love this. Yeah, I love so this good. book so much. Silver Age goodness. You've got Doom Patrol. It's just so pretty. Superman, Batman, Supergirl, Robin... 
Who else is in this? This thing. Uh, this oh, one. Yes. Uh, Flash. Careful. Flash. Wonder Woman. GL. Mm. It's just Dan Moore getting to draw. I, no doubt, of, right? Awesome That's what characters. it is. And um, who do you want to draw, Dan? Yeah, and like Silver Age yeah. style to it. Yes. That's a good looking Superman. Yeah, just, uh, he, oh, he's fantastic. He draws everyone perfect. Yeah, because he's just got that classic look. Yeah. It's very... Why well, he's very both very modern, but very sort of a 70s look about his stuff, I feel. Not yeah. quite early Silver Age, where it's a bit... Mm. But, you know, like your Neil Adams sort of stuff, and your late sort of yeah. George Perez. You know when comics started getting a bit more... Tight. Next step, yeah. Mm. John Byrne, you know, like... That sort of era. You're laughing at the Superman carrying Batman page? Yes, yeah. like the... Supergirl carrying Robin just, yes. just yes. by the shoulder blades. Yes, yes. Oh, not e That's even worse. because uh, Is that armpit? Not even armpit. It's yeah, his shoulders. It's armpit. <laughs> she got him grow. <laughs> it's armpit. Yeah, that shot. And they're having like a serious conversation about, you know, the crime scenes mm. and figuring out who's behind it. And he's just <laughs> holding him in the air. It's just fun, classic superheroes. This is superhero comics. Yeah. Full stop. Yeah. Which, admittedly, I always, what I loved the most about the Loeb McGuinness Superman Batman book was that it was just, like, especially at first, like, Public Enemies with the yeah. switching. Like, it was just fun. Like, I don't need heavy continuity. Yeah. I just want them doing cool superhero yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, there's a place for really serious, well-thought-out stuff. And Absolutely. sometimes I just want... Magic! Yeah, magic. Superman punching people. Freaking Wonder Woman getting turned into clay. Like yes. Doctor Alchemy and just silly Silver Age super uh, superhero stuff. Who at DC hates Green Lantern now, Jordan? Heaps, heaps. Right, people. somebody, somebody over there. Whew. Oh, and like the big cliffhanger was awesome too. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, it's so good. You got some new characters in there too, right? Like the the Chinese kind yeah. of yeah, um, legendies. Um, yeah, to the characters. Those guys are very interesting, yeah. very cool. And the villain looks awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. Neza. Because he looks dark enough to take it out of the just hokiness or whatever. Like yeah. he's a threat and looks more modern badassiness. It's just fun. And probably the prettiest comic going around at the moment. Absolutely. Absolutely agree with that. Yeah. I, I want him on Superman. I want Dan Moore on Superman. Absolutely. But Superman don't have a comic book anymore, so. That's right. Not well, the one Superman. that he does have is not him and He's That's right. <laughs> and his kid is doing nothing for 12 issues. Mm. Oh, yeah, could you imagine you put, like, uh, <laughs> not, uh, not even a knock on that book, but you put Dan Mora <laughs> on the, the Kal-El, son of Kal-El book. What a waste. Like, she's going to be standing around talking politics or something. Yeah. Nice couches. Yeah. Like, just sitting around the, the apartment. Yeah. Nice cape and stuff. But yeah, if, if you want just a fun superhero book where you don't need to know anything else going on... And it's very pretty. Yeah, I can't recommend it enough. <laughs> it's... What comics should be. Yeah. Everything comics should be. It's fun. A little silly. But just fun. Supergirl just breaking the time barrier by flying. <laughs> great. It's great. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, the, and the, there's a little bit of... Like, when the Doom Patrol go to the Thingy's place, that yeah. was some dark and... Not dark, but like, oh, that's a little sad, sort of. Yes. Uh, not really, I guess, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, they go and they're, well, they're, they're main villains, like, got dementia. Oh, yeah, that's right. But, then, but he's the bad guy, so... Is it? Well, like, but he's also mortal, like the chick's like, that's the saddest thing ever. Mm. Being a mortal with dementia. Mm. Yeah, that was tough. But you know what I mean? Like, mm. there's just those little that, slivers that... Like, that. Oh, in that spidey dark hole where Octavius had dementia and he just got they'd fight each other every every few days. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was weird. Sad. Yeah, sad. Speaking, yeah, great book. Speaking of sad. Alrighty, Venom Lethal Protector number two. Mm. Tell us a lot about it, Good sad or bad sad? Just I kind of feel the same about this book as I do the T V show that starts next week. I don't really see a point. I kinda of know where it ends. And I don't know what you can give me in between that's going to wow me. And so far, still waiting for that wow. We've got uh, Hydro Man comes into this issue. There's a couple of little interesting bits at the end talking about changing up some mm. uh, vulnerabilities of Venom, which I thought was interesting. But besides that, there is not a lot going on yeah, in this and like, book. Yeah, they're doing a few of these 
flashbacky sort of tales. And I understand there's not real Venom in the Venom book. So I understand the idea. But you compare this to Silver Surfer. Oh. Oh. You and, know what I mean? And, and what kills me is who's writing it. Yes, yes. That's what kills... Yeah, like, he created... <laughs> he was part creator. I just... Besides the dude that got $1,000. <laughs> but yeah, I just... I really wanted... I wanted good things for this, but... Maybe three, four, five, and six might just mm. wow me. But you've got Blood Spider, and you've got I can't even think of the other. Well, oh, you had Blood Spider. Yeah, actually. That was the best. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was a little interesting. That was, but um, yeah, it, it's just like the Hydro Man fight. That was eh, okay, cute, fun, silliness. But what are we doing? There's no stakes. There's no. That's it. That's what I'm. He's still... Where it tries, it feels like he's trying, to, like the first one tried to set up that, oh no, and you're like, yeah, I don't care. And he's still in New York, like, piss yeah. off to San Francisco, boy. Which I assume is the end, right? I'm guessing so. But, um, yeah. yeah, it's it's just a book that's there. But this, yeah, it should anyway. No, no, it's... It... it shouldn't be happening that way, anyway. anyway. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, no, cool. It... it was a book. It needs to be fun, at least. Well, well the Surfer one, obviously... It's just a flashback tale, yes. but it's so better. It's just more interesting, yeah, more fun so. each issue. This and, is just... and, and look at the caliber of people that brought in. It brought in Thanos. Yeah, we've had Humber. Yeah, yeah, hundred like, percent. Give us a give us someone that mean gives yeah. a damn. Show me him fighting Doctor. Well, okay, and then you bring in Hydra Man. God doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Thanks to Carney. Which I don't like that, that either. Yeah, that's weird. That'll get that'll get fixed. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, it's just there. Yeah. Well, let's go to the next one. A bit similar. Wolverine Patch, same vein. Flashback Tales. Bring back old writers. Um, we've got Larry Hammer coming back to Mandrapore. <coughs> Wolverine. Very similar. Um, it's cool seeing some Wolverine just killing some people and getting shot a lot. Is there much fury in this? I didn't get to this. Nah, not much. Nah, a couple pages. Hell. More, sort of. More standing around talking. Just read fury. Um, but very same. <laughs> it's just... Maybe these do, both dudes are maybe a little past it too in the writing yeah. game. I'm not sure. And the art in this is... At least that looks a bit better I than this. I will say the art was fun. Yeah, it's that nice in the old for, school. For Venom, mm. The art clean was good. And clear. Really? This is messy art. Um, it's like fits. super beefy in that Venom book. Yes. So it should be. Yeah, That's exactly. how it was back in the day. It's great, yeah. I remember the, my favourite with Venom back in the day was in the Spider-Man cartoon when he had the suit on and he would pump and he's, literally his muscles would grow <laughs> with every second lift of the... Of the um, the barbell was excellent. Because I really like the idea of these flash book books, but you got to do them good, otherwise I'm buying stuff that just... Mm. Well, I'm really keen for the Captain Marvel one coming out. Was I can't, David, cannot wait that for that. Um, I love some Genesis, Val. When Pete Dave was doing that book in the early 2000s, that was my, one of my favourite books. Yeah. Oh, so good. Because mm. it was... Out of print, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. The, no collections really mm. ever. All right, obviously, they'll probably do a new collection with, if this sells okay, I'd imagine. Because it was like Rick Jones and him. It was like a Shazam deal oh, with the Nega Bands. Rick Jones was his... Oh. And I was, I'm a sucker for Rick oh, Jones. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Peter David Wright and Rick Jones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So good, so good, so good. Uh, Alrighty, next up, Batman the Knight. Chip Zdarsky. Uh, prelude to his upcoming taking over at 125. Um, Newcastle this way. continues Bruce learning how to do stuff. This one's all about disguise and espionage. So they hook up with his... KGB, former KGB chick, um, and trying to learn how to pretend to be someone else. And, like, him and his buddy, she sets him a task of, they're in Russia. Uh, these two American kids got busted with pot. Go make, go get them out. And so, like, you know, Bruce's trying to, oh, look, oh, no, they'll plant their friends of ours. We just will go straight away and nothing. Yeah, and where that, where he's, mate, because there's a competition, mate just pays them off. And Bruce's like, that's cheating. He's like, bro, you got you got to work out what people need. These cops are not paid very well. I won. Um, okay, that's cool. Yeah, like it's just very. The most interesting bit is Bruce is very. He does not struggle. He, he can't do. And it's a bit. Oh, wink, wink. It's like I'm not good at putting the mask on and mm. being the play, pretending to be the playboy, even though that should come naturally. He's like, I do better at pretending to be a criminal. Then yeah mm-hmm. yeah you're like okay okay and so, uh, so uh, this I uh, you know each has been about him learning a skill that he needs oh. the cat burglary stuff and yeah. the fighting stuff and whatever this one was more about learning to be be Bruce Wayne I thought 
The movie needed some of that. Yes. Probably. Yes. I, I've been really enjoying enjoying it. Um, just because it's different than your Batman stuff. You know, like we've all seen You Aren't. And, yeah. You know, he comes out and he's got all these things. and You know, oh, yeah, he did this and he did that. Yeah. But they're showing you. Because was the thing with... Was it Zero? The Snyder one? Yes. yes. Yeah, yes. Zero Year. The thing yeah. I liked about that the most was the little backups of him sort of learning how to drive and stuff yeah. like that. You know, I thought that was way more interesting than the thing. So this is just... 12 <coughs> issues of that. Nice. Um, yeah. I, 10 issues. I, I, yeah, yeah, nice. I yeah. like it. I like it. Um, do you reckon they'll do that in one, yeah, one book? Yeah, you'd have to. Okay. I might be worth picking up. Oh. Hope so. I think it'll be one. 10 yeah. issues. Because we would have got a trade solicited if they were mm-hmm. going to. Because the only thing was like, if they wanted to put half out before Chip takes over. Right. But that would have been a preview. you think it was going to be two part, it'd be 12, one, they'll have six to and six, six or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I could have understood if they were doing five to get the trade out to suck you in before Chip takes over. Even with chop parties these days, I feel like they just do a big oversized More often than not. Trade. Nice. Hmm. I prefer that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, Alrighty. Uh, final book we've got here. Immortal X-Men issue two. First issue of this was fantastic. Uh, anybody read this? I Dave? Didn't know. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah? What do yeah. you think? Yeah. Not as good as the first issue. Yeah, no, no. Um, like, the sinister stuff is probably the best. The best bit? Yes. Uh, I, I'll take the Exodus. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. Him and Hope. Yeah. So this one, the previous issue, it's all about the Quiet Council and getting new members on and people are pissed that they weren't voted in and whatever, right, right, when Magneto's left and stuff like that. Um, so there's a fight. Celine is attacking them with bloody kaiju. Yeah, she's, she's six like a kaiju on yeah. her. Wow. No, like, like... Which is like kaiju in... Trial of Magneto, same mm. thing. I was like, I just read this X Men. Oh, that's oh, weird. Damn. Um, yeah, that great. Holy moly. But yeah, the sinister parts are fantastic. Holy shit. Holy he just shit. juices himself up. Yeah, he's like, I've been working on this. Yes. It's Might not like, be um, work. A better <clears throat> version of um, Weapon H. Yes. Yeah, so he's, you know, because he was a geneticist, he taking his genes and stuff. Yeah. Oh, my favourite line in there is about. Every, there's teeth growing it's not fully formed so it's, he's not in there he hasn't finished this thing but uh, every orifice is growing teeth at a rapid pace that he's yeah. like I can only describe as Cronenbergian <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I love oh, it that's right? great because he's like yeah I've only got enough you know material for one this one yeah, Charles like, yeah, like yeah. what are you doing holy shit yeah and the Cyclops blast yeah as well. yeah like, the, the, the Sinister stuff is the best part. Because that's why issue one was so mm. great, because it was all Sinister doing. This one is Hope doing the main narration. Yeah. Um, but yeah, her little interactions with Exodus, Exodus have been very interesting the mm-hmm. whole time. Because Exodus is, you know, is that him? sees her as the Messiah. Yes. Because, you know, that's what she was. She was the first yeah. mutant born after How to Am, No More Mutants and all yes. that stuff. So, um, and she's like, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. But... Oh. but that's the little baby yeah, I saw get turned around yeah. the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. That was a good book. Yeah. Um, and there's so. more stuff with uh, Mystique and Destiny. Yes. Which is interesting. There's a lot of interesting parts in yeah. this. But... Oh, yeah, it's not as good as the first issue. No. I did enjoy it. Started Ooh. slow because I'm like, yeah. I read the first couple pages. Yeah, I'm like, like, oh, I'm not even going to continue. Mm. It was not sinister. And then I got to the sinister bit. But all the extra stuff yeah, is great. It's all the little bits. Yeah, not the fighting bit. No, no, no. Celine in England with the other vampires. Yep. That was great. Hope stuff with Exodus, Destiny and uh, Mystique. <clears throat> Sinister. Because well, the Exodus, because Hope can t- mimic their powers, right? And he says to her, he, she says to him that your powers get stronger the more people believe you. And he's blown away by this. He doesn't know this is the case. Yes. And she's like, oh yeah, uh-huh. the first time I touched you and got your powers, I realised this. Yeah. And he's like, I, people, more be- people believe in me than they believe in you, so I'll have enough power to do whatever she wants to do. And she's like, sorry, I'm a shit messiah. And he's like, you are the greatest messiah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like, like, just little bits were very good. I think it will be a fantastic yeah. book, to be honest. Yeah, that goes back to the, um, the whole Greek god thing where they were talking, like, no one believed in them, so they just didn't exist yeah. anymore. Yeah. yeah, that's so cool. And yeah, Exodus is from the um, Asteroid M stuff? Yes. Yes. That's right. Asteroid M. Okay. To where Magneto mm, tried this the first time. Yeah. All oh. the mutants were on a satellite and Colossus joined him and the Acolytes and that didn't end, that ended poorly. Yes. <laughs> In story-wise or... Yeah, story-wise. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It crashed to Earth. <laughs> it crashed to Earth. Oh, that's, yeah, that's usually not good. Yeah. 
So then he tried an island, and that ended even yeah, more mm-hmm. poorly. <laughs> and that was on Mars. Yes. 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 Yeah, okay. Third time lucky. See how that goes for him. Not. Yeah. yeah not. Mars and Krakoa. Mm. Hmm. Yes, that's about all the books this all week. The, Anyone else, books? Dylan? I read. Uh, Fummy lent it to me. Um, Garth Ennis's Fury. Yeah. What about them dogs? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was a crazy book. <laughs> Dad gets in the jeep and he pulls yeah. the condom out. <laughs> Man, it is so like. Yeah, yeah. We've talked about this before. You've got kind of like two ends of the Ennis yes. spectrum, right? You've got like Punisher Max, mm. and then you've got the boys. Yes. And this is leaning a bit more towards oh, the boys. Very much so. But also with that craziness of some of the Punisher Max stuff, the yeah. war, of the war stuff, mm, mm, mm. like Lee's brother. Yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. Um, it's just, yeah, I can't, you, I, I spoke enough about it last week. I've always wanted to see a man strangled to death with his own entrails. Yes. <laughs> I've always wanted to see that. Well, yeah. I'm glad we could uh, make that <laughs> yes. available for you. Sir. So if you want to read it, it's not in print. You'll probably have to search it out on the internet or something. Online. Yeah. It's worth it. And, and I looked it up on eBay just... And then you're only like 12 bucks an issue or yeah, so. Yeah, like yeah. You can get mm, them okay. pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, not expensive. And there was a trade because I've got it as a trade. Sure, sure. So maybe you'll be able to find out. There you go, Dave. You can read this way. Thank you. No, nah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. real interesting. De- uh, de- uh, we-, we talked before we started yeah. recording. Derek Robertson's peak art for me. Yes, yes. It was great. Um, like, his boy stuff's good, but this is just tighter. Yes, less m- messy. More, maybe a little more detailed. Like just, yeah, it's, yeah. Just the stubble on Nick's face alone, right? Just, oh, he just looks like a bad man. I think the colouring as well for yes. it really helps. It is vibrant. It yes. is. It just yeah. pops. The whole, all the art pops. And especially with everything that's going on in that story, especially the, the tropical islandness and everything mm-hmm. like that, it, it works perfect. Seen the the Halo One ad on the back. It was of that one, last, yeah, yeah, that's right. Halo yeah, One. That, where that, came from. that was awesome. Because all the NS Fury stuff, like he's mm. ongoing. Like he did the Fury Peacemaker, which is sort of World War Two yeah. Fury stuff. That was good. Mm-hmm. And then he came back to Max, and it was all right. This how I sort of see him is this is Welcome Back, Frank Punisher. And then and he went to Max and it got serious. Sure, sure. Same with this. His first Fury Max is just a bit over the Balls top. Out. And then when he does the ongoing Fury Max, it is just legit Nick Fury calls and wars in Southeast Asia. Yeah, yeah. it was great. <laughs> like, just... It was great. Wow. No gags, really. Yeah. yeah. Just, like you said... And they're both fantastic. All for different the time, reasons. Guy then has some more stories. Yeah. Mm. What's the bit where he's like, I can't believe what you did... I can't believe we did over there, uh, over there, Colonel. He's like, what do you mean? He's like, you're telling the American president to <laughs> and, um, insert things I can't talk about. Like, <laughs> and like, I did what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just on the television. And it uh, ended like, duh. oh man. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's no winners in that one. No. There might be people alive, but there was no winners. Besides, um, was it Nigel? What was his name? Nigel? Um... Uh, oh, what's it? Wendell? Wendell! Yes, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, Wendell. <laughs> the, the part where Fury's like daydreaming at the zoo. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, great. with the tiger. Oh, oh. At first, I'm like, oh, is this. I thought it was like legit at first. So he's like just losing his mind and he's going to go, yes. you know, blow up the country or something. But no. So good. Just fantasizing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Poor old Wendell. Ah, great book. That was awesome. That was really good. Glad I read that. Awesome. Dave, while you're getting your cupcake ready, you read anything else this week? No. Okay. Okay. Great input, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Then uh, I read a few other books. Um, I was talking about the um, Alex Ross trade that he did. Oh, yes. I don't know what it was called. Um, World's Super Greatest Superheroes or something yeah, like that? Yeah, so it was a collection of his oversized yeah. DC character books that he did early 2000s. Superman Hope. Yeah. Batman Superman. War and Crime, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. they were. Like, That's when they came out, there was, like, really... Tabloid. Yeah, very big. And they started to re-release them as hardcovers. Yeah, they, only they did two. Wonder Woman and Shazam? and Shazam, I think. Yeah. And I was waiting for the Superman one, because I wanted to buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that never happened. <laughs> so, yeah. It's not a very popular character. No, he's not. He's not, like, the first or anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So they're releasing it in a softcover trade. Yeah. But I did, it's I did slightly oversized. Mm. So, uh, like, album size? Yeah, sort of, yeah. Like... Wider mm. black label, yeah, bit, yeah, yeah, mm. more so like a black label mm. size. 
Because I always wanted to get them, but they were way too big. I didn't like the size of them. No, I never liked them. And it suits because Alice Rocks is art, which is the best. No. Mm. Yeah, the best part. Because Alice, as Alex Rocks. Yeah. He's a great artist. The stories are good too. Yes, yeah. Paul Dinny. Paul Dinny, yeah. yeah. They're just like stories with so much heart. Yeah. It's like, really good combination. Mm. Like, you know, I think mm. there were Alex Ross's ideas that he got Paul Dinny to write. Okay. But, yeah, there's just stories with such heart. Oh. And just like the essence of what that character is. Absolutely. I need to read that stuff again. Because it's actually the last time we got him doing interiors, mm-hmm. really. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like full fledged Alex Ross interiors. Yeah, like that, that Justice series that he did. That was Doug Braithwaite. Yeah. No, no, no. Art. The just like he did a Justice League <clears throat> of the pilot series. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Not that not that blue, that was terrible. Yes, that was no, no, terrible. No, no. Doug, I had Doug Braithwaite still freaking got a job in the first place. He was terrible. Uh, probably because he was fast. Hey Doug, if you listen, that's gonna say that's, <laughs> that's a bit harsh. No, no. no. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, these stories just okay. the heart of what these characters are, and it's a great book. Yeah, nice. uh, I bought it here. Or probably, if you want it, we can get yes, another copy. I do believe so. I think I, mm. uh, I think I might have ordered some on the weekend. Actually, cool. did you get a deal? Yeah, yeah, I bought it when it first yeah. came out. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Order that other hardcover that he got. You yeah, off the shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> MK, MK Ultra. Yeah, I'm ready. Straight away. No, no. I mean, you were looking at it. Right. I picked it up. All right. You had your chance. I didn't know you picked it up first. Well, because I didn't order your hand too. I ordered a second volume too, I think, as well. Just did not you back for Wonder Woman Dead Earth. That's fine. I regret that one, Dead Earth. Yeah. Oh, man. And there's more on more on the uh, shelf if anyone else wants a Wonder Woman Dead Earth by Daniel Warren Johnson. Fantastic book. book. Mm. Or a uh, Murder Falcon is next to it. Mm. I think my the Shazam one's my favourite one. I don't remember anything oh, about okay. them apart from Superman. How pretty they look. Yeah, yeah. The like pretty... Superman was probably close second, but I, I Superman thought... delivering food to people. Yeah, he's trying to smoke, yeah. so, uh, so, uh, stop world hunger, and he just—it's oh, impossible. Yeah, just because people are scum. Mm. Yeah, I hope so. Only compared mm. to Krusty. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a great book. Anything else? No, that's it. Thumbs. Thumbs? No, no, I went away for the weekend, so no. Um, I'll catch up. Alrighty. It's comic sorted. Let's get on to the She-Hulk. Trailer. Mm. We've got the first trailer for She Hulk on Disney mm. Plus. When's the um, CGI going to be rendered? Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> August when it comes out. Because it's still. The CGI is very. Shit. It's, it, yes. It's your only hope you watch it and you go, please tell me it's not done. Yeah, especially when it, they it, land. It looks yeah. like a pre production <sighs> avatar. Sort of, but you know, like that story was already. Yeah, I would, time. I would, I would hope that it's still in production. You wouldn't have finished. Like, Why would you show that if you ha- like? At least it, it's not even. If some shots were like that, because I mean, Dylan talked about the week, and I said the same thing. Dylan was like, I don't think so. Yeah. The more I thought about it, I was like, you wouldn't work on a few hero shots and yeah. clean them up and make them look like the Hulk looks excellent because it's just the model they've yeah. already got. Because he's also because what makes her look bad? The Hulk's got dirt and grime. He's got sweat on him yeah. as well. She is just flat. Yeah. So it does look unfinished, mm. but yeah, I, I, some of that, some of the shots you could get away with unfinished. But some, this is the f- first impressions, man. She needs to be buffed up. I, I think it's this. poor casting. Mm. I'm not a fan. No, at not all. even that. Just nah, like it's poor. the model should be buffed up. Nah, she's not. Just give me two actresses. Give me a Jen and a She Hulk. Bill Bixby, Lou yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It worked for a damn good reason in the uh, 70s. Especially on this TV budget. Yes. Man. Like, yeah. And then you still bulk her out. Mm. You gotta stretch bulk. her out a bit. That's yeah. my main problem, is she's just not bulked. Yes. Yeah, and I don't want, like, like Avengers. Want... Most of the She-Hulk. I want the Guinness book. I don't. No, 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 no. That's not She-Hulk. I want John Byrne She-Hulk. She just needs to be a smidge bigger. Like, all I want is crush a man's head with a thigh She-Hulk, right? Yeah. You don't get that impression of life. Not just crush every bone in your body. Just squash your head like a watermelon. Excuse me. You don't have that impression of Mm -hmm. power. My problem with the MCU Hulks... Even her... Mark Ruffalo? No, no, not even that. They're not green enough. Uh, kind of dull. Mm. I, mean, yeah. I like the... They're it's like, a, a real green. Mm. I don't, I, I like, that's generally how I like my Hulk, to be bull. I don't really like a fluoro green. No, I don't mean fluoro I green, know, but, but it's like it's like a light powder green. I don't like that. Eric Bennett green, but uh, an Ed Norton green, I think, is better. Mm. Yeah, Ed Norton was great green. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I quite like the, the look mm. of him. Yeah. 
I don't know. I think, I don't think, no, I don't I think, think Avengers was. <clears throat> I don't think he's big enough. He I agree. How I know he's smart Hulk and everything at the moment. Uh, yes, but yes, He's yes. just not mm. big enough. Yeah, I know no, 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 the no, whole I'll... Infinity shit with his arm, but. It, yeah, it no, just, I want yeah, I want to. I could have taken a bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. Another foot. Yeah. Another. I just and a bit of bit more bulk. Movie was terrible. Eric Bannerhawk was big. Yeah. Oh, he was massive, yeah. I liked it. Well, hang on, but, but, but... It gets bigger. Well, that's yeah, it. There was proportions. There was I know, that was bad, but... Bigger, as a tree, even when he's in, uh, fighting the dogs, yeah. and then he's... He's just angrier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. And then he's just a little bit bigger than a car. So... MCU Hulk, was he bigger in Avengers? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think they've turned him down. Because he was... I thought he was pretty perfect in that. He was sitting at a freaking diner, mm. at like in a booth yeah. in... What was that, Endgame or yes, something? Yes, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, and I just... Freaking dabbing... Yeah. Where that should just break everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. definitely bigger. That's the other thing. So, Hulk's shirt rips off, mm. but her shoes rip off. Mm. Could have got a missed, missed opportunity there for sure. Uh, you see <laughs> a, a, a glimpse of Frogman? Yeah. yeah. Which is interesting. Looking like a Power Ranger? Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Because I must say, all the elements of what I would want and what she mm. probably should be seen to be there, the lawyer staff, mm. the sort of single girl going on yeah. date staff... Yeah. The comedy sort of stuff, like, should be lighthearted, but I think it looks like it lacks a little fun from that trailer. Mm. Yeah, because that's the thing that makes She Hulk work. I would personally also like some fourth wall breaking She Hulk. Well, that's happening supposedly. Oh, I hope yeah. so. Yeah, that's word that there is, but they just haven't shown it yet. I think that's maybe because that maybe where the fun a, sort of comes. A surprise for the when the series starts, but they'll let it out beforehand. So you're hoping the CGI is still working progress? Mm. Oh, it didn't look good. Hmm. I feel when, like it, when does it come out? August. Oh, yeah, not far. Yeah, I feel like at this point, there's just polish to go on. Yeah. And that's about it. So nothing's going to be completely... Yeah, everything's probably filmed. They just yeah. need to... Because it, it, looks, it looks like an animatic. Mm. You know what I mean? Like uh... She's she looking like Cortana on the Halo show. The way... When, he, when she does the first bit, um, when she greens out and then knocks the spinning blades... But when she grabs that side panel and it just moves, like she doesn't even, there's no, not, like she's strong, but she's not, that's like. You don't get the impression at all. No. Mm. Yeah, no, you, like, you want some impact, some force yeah, just, to it, right? But I think that's just a general problem with CGI. That's in what I'm general. getting at. Like, no, it just looks yeah. shit. Mm. Yeah, it just. Yeah. You, you see Abomination, mm. Tim Roth as well, so that's going to be great. And it kind of looks like she's going to be lawyering for the. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. Or the, sorry, the. Super villains, essentially. Yeah, she's yes. probably going to be abomination. So we her. might see. Yes. Interesting, also because he looks a little bit more amphibious than last time we saw him. Well, you saw well, him in Chen no, I know, but there might actually be a bit of backstory to how, the, why, how, mm-hmm. how, why, in regards to after um, he managed to keep his role, but Ed Norton didn't. Um, I really hope it's good, but yeah, it didn't wow me. I tell you that mm. you're like, ugh, and you can't because you can't get over how she, she, she looks. Yeah, mm. but I think most people have been saying that online. So hopefully they just fit, see this and like, okay, well, they decided to. And we <laughs> thought you beat me to it. We Dave. thought it for a while because we saw the it was like a drink bottle they brought out, mm. and we're like, oh no, it's just a drink bottle. We'll wait till we. Oh. But it looks exactly <laughs> the same. Yeah, yeah, because these days it's it's not like an artist painting. Um, like the model sheet, no. it is the actual. Yes. Yep. That's the same model yep, yep, that they yep. use. Yeah, so I don't yeah. think we're going to get much improvement, if any. Which worries me. Maybe a little bit of lighting. Which and worries me for gore yeah, as well. Some, some glistening, yeah. you know, effects and stuff. We're probably getting a new um, Thor trailer soon. The tomorrow game four. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's oh, going yeah. to be in game four of the um, heat, heat um, Celtic series. I'm pretty sure. Because yeah, they were all just sitting in the studio spinning basketballs randomly. Is it time for Halo, man? Oh, it's Halo time. time. Oh, bro, I'm going to grab a cupcake. Yep. Yeah, yeah go on. Chill. The finale, the season finale <sighs> for season one of Halo. And, um... So can we maybe, <laughs> since next week there's nothing to watch, maybe go back and start again? And just we can go like a deep dive critique? Because it's barely been done in... Like, oh, yeah? Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Vito. Oh, boy. Um, hey, do you remember last last time um, I said that? Oh, it looks like they're going to do. Are we supposed to listen during this time? I know. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> it's halftime. <laughs> it's a mission. Last episode, I I was like, oh, they're going to do the fall of Reach, right? Yeah. Because the fall of Reach, Reach is you know the human fortress world. It's their military center. It gets screwed <clears throat> over. Thank you for listening so intently. I lo- I appreciate that. 
You're welcome. I feel I feel loved. You should. <laughs> okay. The Covenant screw over Reach. One ship escapes and it makes like a blind jump. And that ship, Master Chief's on that ship. Cortana's on that ship. She has some data. She doesn't know where it goes, but she puts it into the navigation computer. They make a random jump. They show up at Halo right after Reach gets blown up. So I was like, okay, that's how the series is going to end this mm-hmm. season. They didn't do that. You dumb bastard. No, <laughs> no, no, I had too much faith in them. Yeah, too much faith in them. Gold standard. <laughs> that's right. So what happened, Dylan? We'll get to that. Um, what did Nothing. happen? No. Second, well, oh, shit, that's a surprise. Six. Yeah, so what was the big Nothing finale? Yeah, Mark, is there a big cliffhanger? They go to a the uh, Covenant Holy Planet where they've brought the two artifacts and they're kind of going to use the artifacts to find the Halo. And then Master Chief and his Spartans go there and they kill some aliens and that should be good, but it wasn't. It was boring. It was another first person sequence. In his helmet. Oh, like they do. Yeah, yes. like Doom, and it was terrible. <clears throat> and like Doom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it did. Like Urkel. On the Halo assault rifle, on 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 the top, yep. there's like an ammo counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I, know. I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. And it ticks down when you, you sh- when you shoot the gun. Like there's a couple times where he's shooting, and it, the, the number doesn't change. Oh! But there's a couple other times ah. where it does change. And he just forgot it. So, uh, yeah. He's using secondary fire, Dylan. Come on. He's shooting four bullets, and then the number goes down like once, if at all. One time. And another time it works fine. So I, I, Weird. <laughs> at that point, I was like, okay. Do you get any any subplots resolved or any. Yeah, what about the young girl yeah, with her anything family go anywhere? getting destroyed and the young Asian girl? What happened? Um, oh, 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 she doesn't show up. Behind, which is good. What? She doesn't show up what in this episode. Space Gay Chappelle. Uh, he doesn't show up this episode. I was expecting him. Did we see... I was what? what? Him. Did you get any payoff? Um, <clears throat> is he a butt again or anything? He no. finally got to see real Master Chief, though. Do you okay, see before... Halo? No. 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 <laughs> before, I, before I get to that, uh, McKee, the... <laughs> the covenant... Too much mean time. The covenant Damn, girl. Yeah. Uh, she dies. What? Sad. So I was like, hey... Covenant girl? Yeah. Why are you, making, why are you clapping? Because the one he had sex with, yeah. his sister... Jesus, that's not good. She dies. Ha- by like the covenant kill her? Well, no. she's using the artifact to locate the, fact the halo. That it's well, and that's not the answer is like they've just yeah, been, yeah. No, you're a traitor. Ring. No, she she's kind of come back into the fold of the covenant. She's using the artifact. She's touching the artifact to try and locate the halo. <laughs> and in her doing that, it's causing Master Chief to black out. So Master Chief is blacked out, and having a having a vision. In the middle of battle, mm-hmm. so he's one of his Spartans is trying to you know knock him out of it, but nothing's working. So she just shoots it and kills her, and then that stops the vision. Yep. Okay. And what was the point whatever. of her then and them and that whole thing then? I, I don't know. Get rid of his V card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kid, they're gonna require for sex. What was that? They're gonna make her a robot. Make her a, a robot. Commit? I gotta do something oh, with her. Oh, she's oh, not oh, just gonna be gone. They invested oh, the whole series gone. into her. She's I think she's gone. She's gone. They can't just leave her there. They just leave her for the sex scene. Now I understand space is quite a large area, but they don't know where this halo is. They, I've seen some pretty. They got some pretty high tech gear, yeah, really and not. they got to get her a glowing rock to tell them where it is. They can't get probes, mm. and like because you the, know, in the games and stuff, it is kind of outside. No Our space. galaxy. Our galaxy. Yeah. It's outside the galaxy. Yeah. It's on the fringe of it. Um, I know space is kind of big. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. Yeah, yeah infinite's <laughs> quite big. It's kind of big. Oh, man. Yeah, they, they hadn't found it because it was Shit. kind of too far out. And they've been looking for it. Um, I kind of get Master Chief, but it's really weird. Because Cortana's whole purpose was she was designed to kind of take over the Master Chief's body, completely take control of his bo- mind and... T- to become the perfect soldier under yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. his vision. That, that's so, weird. That is new for the show. She so, been in it much? Uh, Cortana? No, the Halsey. Halsey. Um, oh, and, yeah, she's evil. Yeah, she's evil. But why would you want the perfect soldier under her vision? Per- if I'm building a perfect soldier for the army... Or a military of any kind. I guess they're an military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't have she's, a general. 
That's right. She's too involved. She's just a doctor. She's way too a involved. Scientist, right? I you guess, know, I guess she's making these yeah. cloney things and doing all that. She'd she, be she, she had a high say. She is sleeping with like a couple of high ranked people though. But it doesn't work like no. that. You're hundred percent right. Soldiers are taking point on yeah. war. She's way too involved. It's like they're taking orders from her. But you know, in the books She works for them. She makes the soldiers he makes the Spartans. Okay, military, here's the Spartans. Because is she then, even an enlisted? No. She's a in, subcontractor deal, e- right? Even in the show, she is referred to as civilian. Yeah, so she got nothing. Specialist. She does what she told. Yeah. But she's giving orders to them. She comes out so garbage. Yeah, it's bad, man. It's I don't just know, bad. It's like, just what is the point? I, I saw people liked it a lot. Gold it, standard. <laughs> gold standard. Gold standard of video game adaptations. What What was is that? This Xbox for the Xbox site that said this? Xbox magazine or no something? No way. Oh, the Xbox oh, wow. magazine. What? Isn't Halo... Oh, it'd be PlayStation. Oh, no, it's, it's Xbox. That's right. Oh, no, what no, a you know what? No, it's Mega Drive. They probably got the article from like eight years ago about the game. <laughs> and just copy paste. And just copy paste. Oh, they were just writing the review about um, the Neil Blomkamp. Yeah. Ten minutes <laughs> short. Sure. Okay. Could you imagine getting that gig to have to bullshit this if you did watch it? Yeah. Man, Man that's some creative writing there. As long as you get a free jacket, it'd be alright. Right. <laughs> okay, so the Covenant... Um, the there's only three. Is it three? Yeah, Spart- four Spartans. Yeah, now we're yeah, four Spartans. Four. Four. Yeah. Oh. Four Spartans there. Um, <laughs> one of the admirals is like to Master Chief, "Oh, sh- we're going to send Marines, like a couple of battalions." And then Master Chief's like, "No, just Spartans. We can take care of it." And then they get overwhelmed <laughs> by the Covenant. Just say a couple of battalions, and they just send four people. Yeah, four to Spartans. Be fair. Four Spartans sorry. Yeah. Like, to be fair. Like, in this to be fair. fair. To be fair. To be fair. Those battalions all died anyway on the way. Yeah, with but then your those mil- then your expensive investment don't yeah. get bragged. This yeah. is like we, four... we learned this in Gundam. Use the children. Yeah, that's right. It's like twenty years and billions of dollars mm. or whatever money yeah. they use. Um, they did infinite grunts that they would have. Yeah, mm. and then they're getting overwhelmed. So Master Chief says to Cortana, "You know, take over my mind." Oh, so Jake Lockley comes in. Nice. Yeah, give up control. Um, and somehow that makes him a better fighter, even though it's caught. To, yeah, I don't. Yeah, know. because he's got emotions and shit now, so he just would it would click no, off. But, then, but so be, is she. No, no, but he, he wouldn't have called. Like, like, yeah, like I get it. Like she could have done exactly yeah, the same thing as his in one sentence. Yeah, <laughs> I am. So wow. she takes he over, love it. and yes. when she takes over, he just Master Chief is completely silent. He's a freaking killing machine, and he's just murdering aliens and doing cool stuff. And that's when he was the most fucking master chief. When he wasn't even in control, he's essentially a zombie. And there was this other part where well, it's essentially what master chief is. Yeah, he's being played on a video game. He is just the that's the what husk. yeah, that's what I mean. And okay, and now he's so essentially what you've learned him. is just go and play the game. Uh huh. Yeah. And. Read the book. Play the game. Play the game. I guess I'll mention um Please do. Uh Marcus Leto, the um <laughs> he was the art director for Halo One, Halo Two, Halo Three. He was the creative director for Halo Reach. He tweeted about the show. Very complimentary, I'm sure. Yeah. He was like, um, I'm not sure where you got your inspiration from. But like, this is not the Halo that I made. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And well, then he sort of backpedal is like a television executive with notes, so he should just shut up. <laughs> that's all right, because right. this is the gold standard. Gold of, standard of shows to bitch about. This guy like designed the final version of Master Chief in the game, because there was like a, a more anime kind of looking design. Oh, it seems like he had his fingerprints across the whole series of yeah. games. Yeah, his initials are on Master Chief's boot in that first game. His face is in the game. Like and people are still like, "Oh, this is great." Yeah, but people are sheeple. That's yeah. right. People well, are just... And they get paid by Microsoft. That's one of the things so... where you know it well, can't be just good. That. I don't hear nobody telling us here. Yeah. I understand Paramount doesn't have a big footprint here. Yeah. But we're also the pirate kings of the world. Mm-hmm. So that's not stopping anybody that wanted to check it out. I don't think I've heard one actual face-to-face pirate. customer yeah. talking to me pirate. about they've watched it and liked it. The only other people I've talked to besides us who 
Well, yeah, hello. They hated it. Yeah. <laughs> I, no buzz whatsoever. Mm. We got a couple standing orders that are um, fans of the game. I've been talking to them, <laughs> and they all hate it yeah. as you much as I do. You know it's crap, even when the sex scene is crap. That's right. Like, <laughs> so how many Halo men are in this world? Um, do they just have to force buttons? Yeah, that's it? I think so. Yeah. In in the yeah in that world it looks like it. In the book, there's I want to say 30, 40 Okay. Before uh, Reach gets because in over. episode three or so they said like there was. How many people survived? Forty survived. Yeah, yeah, and that's about right. So yeah, the rest so are just cool. elsewhere. Oh, probably, yeah. Yeah, but probably. they're never mentioned. Is there's no reference to them at all? Is this like what do they call them? Alpha team or whatever it is. Silver team. Silver team. So there has to be a bronze and a gold and a. Magenta. Yeah, but why is Master Chief silver team? Yeah, I don't know. Well, he's, why is he outranked by his subordinates? Topaz. Topaz. Yeah. Garbage. Right, and Dylan. Huh? Rating. A rating? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You watch a rating! <laughs> Out of 10 for the whole series. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. As a whole. Okay, what did I like? Whole? Yeah, what did you like? It, when it ended. <laughs> Besides that first 20 minute backup scene. Chlorine, uh, my damn seems like that. The rage. first 20 minutes and Zombie Master Chief was the two highlights. And even then, it's a bit like. There's one part at the end where one of his teammates gets injured and he's obviously. In zombie mode still, so he's just he he gets like a tool to like um, cauterize a wound and mm-hmm. everything, and his teammates screaming and stuff. But like in the book, he cares about his people. Excuse That's me. like the one thing. Well, you can't be a leader of a squad and yeah. not have that. Yeah, yeah, like he really cares, yeah. and he hates leaving people behind. And there's like a instance in the first book where, yeah, it kind of just shakes him when he loses his first person, and. It's like the one time where he should be emotional. He's not emotional because he's not there. It's Cortana driving his body. Anyway, yes. Um, the armor looked cool. Um, Cricket. <laughs> the guns from the game when they showed up, which is like once every blue moon. I don't know about that. That was a 20 minute bitch about that. Once every blue moon. Did you actually see the needle do stuff now? Besides <sighs> nope. off panel? You see a Spartan pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told us this. No, no, like another... Uh, in the last yeah. episode, you see a Spartan pick it up in combat, shoot it, but I don't think you see... There's no tracking. Explode. There's no tracking either. It's just like normal bullets. Well, I, I feel like I saw them kind of... S- swerve off. Straws. You can't, you're clutching at straws. You clutch against straws. I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe paper straws. That's right. <laughs> um, out of ten. Or five. Oh. Or five. Or oh, it'll be like a zero point something if it was a five. <laughs> oh, come on, give it a little bit. Give like a that. one. One I Halo Man. One, one Halo Man out of ten. Oh. It was so frustrating <laughs> and annoying. I'll give it like a four because I only had to watch two episodes. <laughs> that sounds about right. Well, cause I, like, it's just not, like, I never played the second. It just wasn't a good show. No. It wasn't each. And like, it just sounds like you didn't get anything out. For a Every, season. Everything that I like about Halo is not in this show. I don't know where it is. Season two. Will you watch it? <laughs> Will it? you watch it? I don't want to watch content. it. I'll I don't want to watch it. I'll give it a two out of ten. Dave, don't make me. Two out of ten? Yeah. Because Angelo scale? Hmm? Angelo scale? But you didn't even get Angelo scale. Yeah, you got some side beef. You got to take what you can get. No, that, that was a... Yeah, but then that got cancelled out with the bad sex scene. Ah. <laughs> oh god, I'm so glad it was finished. I'm so glad. Season two, Dylan. Here we go. No, be a while. No, don't we'll have to do a recap before you have to. You might get a knock on the door one day. It's just Paramount execs going, "Oh, you think you could do better?" And then they kidnap you yes. the night. And... Uh, apparently, uh, reviews on YouTube have been getting flagged by Paramount. <laughs> Ah, oh, dogs! Yeah. For copyright? Like, yeah, I haven't looked into negative? it. Yeah, I haven't looked Dog. into it, but that's what I've heard. Just negative ones. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, like, Angry Joe or something, I think. Got you, you just need to, like, theoretically question. Oh, so we that's can the most get cancelled? That's thing you can do as yeah. a product. Oh, great. This podcast it's okay. No one listens to this, so we'll be good. Wait. <laughs> we have, like, Some double We're not showing so clips thank either. You very much. That's right. We're just saying it's dog shit. Yeah, we're allowed to. That's we're okay. Allowed to pity. Yeah, dog shit. Horrible. Please, 
That's unfair to dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. True that. Okay. I don't even like them. All right. Next TV show. A lot better. A lot better. Love, Death, and oh, yeah. Robots, season three. Mm. Um, Nine episodes? Yeah. I think so. Nine? Mm. No, no, I don't remember. I just watched Because it goes fast. Yeah. 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 Been, like... Some are longer than others. Some are... I like most of them. Um, I don't think there was a dud... There was one that was a bit... Admittedly, Dylan had told me he watched it all in the first day. Mm. I was like, how was okay. it? And he's like, there's only one I didn't like or whatever. Mm. And then when we get here, he's like, there's only one. What do you reckon? I was like, well, the only one I didn't like was this one. And it was the same one. <laughs> so maybe we spent too much time together. Um, Which is weird, because I like that one. Cause I just like sp- space trippy shit. Yeah. And that's space trippy. too shit. trippy. Yeah, no, I like that. And we know... But that wasn't your favourite one. Though. No, pay no. off. Okay. My favorite no. one was the last one. That one was pretty cool, messed uh, up. J- Jabaro? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That I watched was great. the first five minutes like six times now. <sighs> like from the beginning to when he runs away and she's yeah. just in the water. I wanted to do that again. Like the, just the armor, man. Like yeah. it's like perfect. Like Maximilian play armor with mm. the fluting and. Like the, oh, the animation beautiful. is real enough, but just. Not real, so it's not uncanny valley. Yeah, there were a couple times where I'm like, no, that's that's real. That, yeah, that, that the, arm is real. The, like, it's like, just the faces, right? Yes, and yeah. not not like uncanny valley. Yeah. You see, they've designed this, this, this to be a little enough. Off. Yes. yes, yes. And certain shots, like the ultra close ups, they look real sometimes yeah, because right. also the cuts are really quick. Mm-hmm. Yes, so you don't get a good look. Like a Lisa Battle Angel. I haven't watched that shit. Okay, <laughs> it's a fun movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah, my favorite was probably the crustacean. Oh yeah, the boat. Oh yeah, that was great. That, that was, was uh, my favorite. Blur Studio. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, that was that was cool. They did the um, remaster cutscenes for Halo Two Anniversary. Amazing. And like, there's nothing. Yeah, you know, it's just a like monster sort of thing, and you, know, you know. But I, I really yeah. like that one the most. But like an interesting, morally yes. gray yeah. yes. main character. Very much so. You don't that get enough of him. Yeah, yeah, main dude was great. Yeah, yeah. and also uh, that was Troy Baker voicing him. Oh, cool. Yeah. Dude, dude, yeah, in everything, yeah. <laughs> like my least, the weakest one I felt was Night of the Mini Dead. It was fun, but the war one, the soldiery one. No, 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 the little Night of the Dead, but it was just miniatures. The zombies, zombies, zombies. You watch it? I might have missed that. What? I didn't think I watched nine episodes. Mm, okay. Did you know, like... Oh, did they do like the Black Mirror thing where they? Mix it up every time. I don't know, because I did go... I watched a couple, then stopped. And then when I went a couple, well, I'm like, this isn't the episode. That was four. I might have missed it. Maybe missed it, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's like Night of the Living Dead, but too. like <clears throat> miniature style. Yeah. Tilt shift. Like, ah, yeah. did I watch that? It's yeah, like tilt the shortest shifted. one of the world. Yeah. I think it goes for seven minutes. Because, mm. like, yeah, yeah, I think I watched three or two or three. three and then I came back. And I was like, this isn't the episode. You know how it starts, right? So this isn't the episode. I'm like, what happened? And I went back. That would have been four. I think I watched two, then stopped. And then I must have just never went back Skipped to that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I might have thought that one, you know? I like, like you the... would have started, and then it's like, oh, I'm up to the next episode. Yeah, so maybe. When ah. I come back, it'll... The Joe Manganiello one was pretty cool. Very, like... Yeah. The, the animation that was... The, for the was people. that the, the alien-y sort of... In the cave. Yeah, the yeah, real, yeah, yeah. That, with... was, that was good. Freaking Eldritch Abomination. Yeah, that was great. Oh, man. Yeah, it. no, that was good. Because yeah, I thought the, the soldiery one with the... The honey badger thing. That, yeah. was, that fun. was fun. Fun. Very fun. But was, I thought probably the weakest. Mm, it was just bro force. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't know. Dylan, it was bro I enjoyed force. the yeah. shit out of it, but just. Yeah. It wasn't as smart or as. The substance yeah, wasn't there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just cool. Yeah, exactly. Fun yeah. Yeah. stuff. Because the, the robots, the first episode, that was some really, that was ooh, really yeah. good shit in that. Because I, mean, I thought they were going to do like every season they were going to do those robots. Mm. But they didn't. But that's fine. Mm. They were great. Mm. See them twice though. Yes. Probably. Yeah, the first one and the yeah, third one. Yeah. Mm. You didn't see them in the second one. That's fine. Might be a time thing. Mm. Yeah. Maybe the studio. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. The 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 rats one. Was yeah, that was dude. Great. Fun. Dude, that was like they were all great. Yeah. Just like some were weaker than others. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They weren't bad. No, no, no. But yeah, the last one, the Javaro. Favorite out of all volume three, three volumes. Great. Yeah, that was very, very good. And it took me like halfway through the episode. Uh, I. Lean forward in my chair. I'm like, hold on. Some of these backgrounds are pa- like 2D kind of painted. Mm. And at first I didn't notice. I thought it was all just 3D environments. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go watch, watch like the first five minutes again. Yeah, I think I missed one. 
<laughs> but you missed the shortest one, so you're good. You only take seven minutes to catch yeah. up. Yeah, I'm gonna... yeah I don't think... It I don't... was shit timing, because I went away for the weekend. I had no Netflix, no nothing, because oh, no, yeah. I didn't get a chance to download it before, oh. but so I'll watch them this week. But yeah, my attention yeah, span, I don't think, is long enough for it. Seven minutes? Not even that seven minute. I think the what longest one's about? 22 minutes, man, so I think you'll be right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, we'll talk about the, um, the swarm. Ooh, that ooh, was interesting. Ooh, yeah. Like, to, like space stuff. Like, I love science fiction. Yeah. Man. That was yeah, that right was, in my house. Great, yeah. And, like, with a touch of, yeah, mm. messed up Eldritch kind mm. of. Like, cause I, don't, cause I was just scripted. I didn't see who the voice was. Like. Is that is Rosario? Uh, I thought for sure, yeah. right? Yeah, because it's I'm very sure. Rosario. Yeah. Yeah. Like, every, time, every time she speaks, I'm like. Yeah, I, and I like, couldn't be bothered going looking at it. Nah, nah, nah. But you're like, get shit out. Where is he? No wonder I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazon Prime, when you pause it, it gives you a little cast list. Yeah, but it is Netflix. Yeah, 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 yeah I get yeah. that. I'm saying Netflix, what are you doing? Fuck your game. We lose more subscribers. <laughs> yeah, because we need a cast list They're when we pause. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. It just continues to be great. Yeah. Amazing. And has, like, it, has there been more greenlit? Uh, I haven't read any. Because I'd be know. a little worried, you know, the... Oh. The animation department is what they've just got chopped hard. Oh. Like, you, like, you know, they're going to do Bone, gone. Would oh, you see different they? sorts? Yeah. I guess with Bone, gone. Damn. And would a few just... other things. Like, the animation's where they've trimmed hard. Yeah, but see, these aren't Netflix's studios, though. No, no, but they pay, the, they pay these studios yeah. to make them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you see the, different animation styles? Yeah. Did you, did you watch any of them? Oh, that's gone. Cool. That's a few. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're all I different animation I... style, different yeah. animation. But like, different studios. So you, so you haven't the first, the second season. You haven't no. seen any. I think I've seen all first season. Generally, they're all CG. Uh, c- computer CG. animated. Some of them are. Yeah, because there was that one with was um, a... um uh, what's his name from Black Panther in the first season, and that looked almost no the second season. Ah, uh, um, Killmonger. Creed. Was... Yeah. yeah, Creed. Killmonger. He was. He was the same that... soldier. Yeah, yeah no, that was that was CG, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, yeah. Was it full CG or was it CG cap on his face? Because I think it was full. I would say full CG. I, I did the same thing. I was like, dude, yeah. that looks some shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every two seconds. Like the first it's one, real. No, it's not. The first one with Topher Grafen. Yeah, that was the only Winston. real live that action, was, I think. That's yes. the real yeah. act. And there oh, are... no, the giant on the beach. <laughs> yeah, that was real. <laughs> and there are a couple, like 2D. Yeah. Hey? There were a couple that were 2D animation. Yeah. yeah. Not um, enough 2D animation for my liking, but yeah. it's because they don't exist. And <clears throat> sometimes you can tell there's some 3D yeah, yeah. model work to, to help the animation and stuff. I would prefer... Just goddamn yeah. plastic. But the whole shtick to this mm. show is kind of 3D animation for the most part. So, <laughs> like, some of them... They're not... Some of them animated in, like, a video game engine, basically. Because they just mm. look so video gamey. Oh, the, the videos of the video game when they try and show off a video game? Yes. Oh, like E3 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. demo? E3 demo yeah. That looks nothing like the game yeah, when you buy it. Like the old Command and Conquer videos used looks to get like little, an, like, oh, made in a video game. Hmm. Oh, but like this new Unreal Engine. Like, yeah. you know how I told you about the Matrix? Yes. Like, the dude remade like a whole like Japanese train station. Uh-huh. And... It looks so real. And I think I saw a video of that. The elements of it. It's like, oh, damn. I saw a picture and I was like, wow. oh, is that a yeah. real trans... Oh, it's not. Wow. It's, yeah, but <laughs> it looks so real. Like, yeah. I'll change the other answer. Yeah, people are doing some cool stuff with Unreal. Alrighty. Mm, Very good. Watch yeah. it, people. Watch it. Netflix. Oh. If you haven't watched the previous seasons, smash them out. Yeah. I yeah. Use mum's pews. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. Basketball. Basketball! Basketball time! Now, Fun. did we find a sports movie that Dylan could tolerate? That's right! Games. Yes. Yeah. How good is basketball? It's awesome. This is one of my top ten movies. Seriously, I love basketball. When I, I watched it, I was like, oh, Dylan could go either one way or the other because it's so stupid. Like, so stupid. So great. But so stupid. <laughs> yeah. And so of its time. Tell yeah, us when, yeah, you, when you knew it was going to be a movie you liked. When the intro was playing and, you know, it was hilariously yeah. written and stuff. Yes. And then... Score a touchdown. Yeah, my terrible Dallas Cowboys. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And they all just synchronized dancing. The on be- the field. I'm like, okay. The I'm best down. is when they get the ref in and they yeah. start yeah. swinging around. That was the. That was the... Oh. I, I just. Also, a sucker for. Not a. 
in this movie, there's never a serious conversation, but they're having like a normal conversation, and in the background, there's some just ridiculous yes, shit yes, yes, yes. happening in the back. That's I love like that the shit. Zuckerberg style. Yes. Bro. Yeah. Love Zucker that shit. Style. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It, okay. So, basketball for the people that are unlucky enough never to have seen this film, uh, it's Zucker, one of the Zucker brothers. We've Trey and Matt Stone as the Trey Parker and Matt Stone as the main cast. With some sensational '90s females like Yasmin Bleeth, the crazy Jenny McCarthy, uh, Victoria Stills, their playmate of the year, oh. <laughs> um, and they create a hybrid game of basketball where it's it's not like horse, but you <laughs> baseball have, rules. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's baseball rules. You must be a sports guy, and um, and it doubles from behind the fruit bowl. So <sighs> it then goes. National through, um, it's so ridiculous. It's the best. Through, oh, what's his name? Um, Ernest Morgan. Ernest Morgan. Yeah. Denzel up, and frivolity ensures. How have we not got it on the Ocho? Yeah, because there's no oh, definite a... rules of it. Yeah. Oh, make it. Make well, the psych like... is a killer. That's the problem. Yeah. What do you think of the psych house, Dylan? <laughs> should have been gone. I just love when they're explaining yeah, the playoff picture and it's just... Yeah. Oh, this is the best game And ever. at the end when they're like trying nine to... months into this playoff. Yeah, yeah. post season. <laughs> no, Daddy, no. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, so... Oh, Al Bob, Michaels, bro. Al Michaels and Bob Costa are sport, yeah. legit sports yeah. commentators. Oh, Al Michaels wow. is still commentating the NFL. Yeah. That would Costa's be great. Costa's doing something different these days, but <laughs> Al Michaels is still he a is legit... A shit. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, like, Al Michaels Bob is Costa. a legit commentator every week with the other guys and to have him doing that role is That's just cool. so damn good um the name of the the team the, other the teams, beers the other teams ah. well uh, give me a hat give me a beers hat oh. <laughs> yeah. what about the cheerleaders oh just to think some of these cheerleaders oh, have, have, have oh. them have them fairies cheerleaders oh. <laughs> that was an Australian joke <laughs> that's a vagina <laughs> <laughs> And some good Charlie Sheen and Robert Downey Jr. Ju- Robert yes. Downey Jr. jokes that uh, probably don't hit home much these days. The unsolved mysteries. Ah, oh, 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 we still have that's no idea where the pure, hell this guy is. That's pure Zuckerberg, like Zucker style. The freaking just straight yeah. ass delivery of that yeah. guy. Well, that's the problem. Well, yeah, yeah, that he's was a from, show. Oh, really? Was that yeah, unsolved yeah. mysteries? Oh, really? Show. Robert Stack. He's yeah. dead now. Yeah, but yeah, I think I heard his name somewhere. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. how exactly like yeah. what you see was like. That's what I was saying. Was yeah, cool. Yeah. She left her home at 9.45. And it's, <laughs> and it's, it's real usually, bad reenactments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's usually Excellent. that in X-Files that was on at the same time, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, about 10.30 on a Wednesday, yeah. 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 I used to love on something. Uh, um, Just for Robert Stack. You're extraordinary. Yeah, oh, extraordinary. Warwick Moss, Rick Moss. Warwick, Warwick Moss. Moss. Yes. Um, don't worry, Dylan. <laughs> the, it's one of my favourite lines in the whole thing is when they're talking to the kid in the hospital. It's like... Uh, I'm going to die. Everyone dies. Not this week. <laughs> when they come back in. Oh, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on the tube and the, the, the terrorist dressed it's as beers so place and takes his shirt off. Like, it's so good. Hi, Brittany. Um, and he gets terrorist, a few South Park good. voices. He does yeah. a garrison and he... Oh, we're just... Oh. He, it's Kyle half the time. Yeah. 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 Stand occasionally, but like, oh. it's just Kyle all the time. And we had, like, this was around when we were in high school. We had a guy in our school, and, like, literally for years, his nickname was Squeak, a little bitch. Like, he just <laughs> copped it. It was, <laughs> probably look back on that in not the best light, but uh, it is what it is, and we were dumb, sh- dumb shit kids, but, yeah, Squeak. Toughened him up, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> um, oh, he would have liked that movie. He, right? um... For life. Have you seen Orgasmo? I've heard you of it. You need to watch it again, bro. Oh. oh. Yeah. Um, and Cannibal the Musical. Mm. Cannibals a bit weak. Yeah, you could probably like skip cannibal. cannibal, but um, I think the other, the other, I love the innuendo between the um, felon's owner and Jimmy Carpenter. Oh, so good. And then like the, uh, like, uh, the uh, lane, <laughs> lane carpet, yeah, and then the the Ty Cobb bat. It's like, yeah. did I fart? Uh, I just uh, and polishing the polishing yeah. the um the toe ball. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, like, yeah, uh, so good. For yeah. Itch. So good. Um, oh, the night like the real big fish playing um, in the in the stadium. That's, that's how awesome. you know it's nineties. Yes, yes. there's some scar. 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 <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, well, who was it? Smash Mouth. 
No. no. Huh? Ruby Fish. No, no, but there, there was a Smash Mouth song oh, in there. Of course there was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a Smash Mouth song in every movie at yeah, the time. Yes, right? yes. Um... Oh, just these real people in his... Uh, oh, yeah. Like, Kareem in the... Yeah. In the oh, thing. Crazy. like, ah, oh, I get that now. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> winning time. Uh, um, yeah, I love this film. It's just... It, I'm actually shocked how long... It's like an hour and 40 minutes. Like, And I don't know if that was a bit long. I'm going to show them. Like, this, <laughs> this movie is just gold. It's yeah, just, it didn't feel long to me. And I love the, the song that's playing in the car when he's driving and oh really that top- was amazing with topical cream yes. so <laughs> and, and Denlo Denlo's Denslow's um oh wake. too sexy <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's <laughs> left and just talking about the movies he's actually been <laughs> in his book he's been in oh so oh. good so yeah. good um <laughs> so you've had a reprieve uh, for a week yes thank you I think I'll need it well we got to give scores first? Scores, yeah. 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 That's an eight. It's all an eight. Maybe yeah. Nine. Nine. Because yeah. it's not the type of movie to be tens and stuff. It's just no. it is what it is, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's oh, so fun. Yeah. I can't... I have nothing bad to say mm. against it. Yeah. But it's just... Because I, I bought it on DVD ages ago watching like, you know, outtakes and stuff. The bit where they have to kiss. Oh, yeah. The yeah. amount of times they, you know... <laughs> how long oh, it took them to shoot amazing. it is great. It's <laughs> Oh, that yeah. was they get into it too. They're was way great. too yeah. comfortable with each other, right? That was well, great. It took so I like think, the, the outtakes and that was it. Going back to so early long. South Park, when Kyle and Stan's mm-hmm. dad are in the the uh, no. hot tub together, that is definitely a, oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> storied moment from their past for sure. Um, Very friendly fellows. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, did you give us a go? Yeah, eight. eight. Yeah, seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Nice. Jesus, man. You're way too oh, tough on movies, yeah. <laughs> Young people these days, man. I, I think I think Prince of Persia Sands of Time would disagree with that. Mm. That's with garbage. <laughs> way too lenient. But see, this is this is also a movie that we've I, I've lived with for like this is the first time you've ever seen. Yeah, that, that's and, right. Yeah. Just a question, Dylan. What's Dozens the movie times. that's made you laugh the hardest? Ever? Like a comedy. Well, um, hopefully. Well, hopefully, yeah, yeah, because there are some serious movies should, that make me laugh really hard. List or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they weren't intended to make me laugh, but I laughed. Um, I don't know. Don't uh, unintended laugh. Game. For me, mm-hmm. Happy Gilmore. I think. Wow. Yeah. Laugh the hardest. Yeah. yeah. I, I, like, I like Happy Gilmore, but, but it's I think it's, all, it's, very it's entertaining. Yeah. I'd it's, say Billy Madison. I probably laugh more. Oh, Billy's way better. Movie. I don't know. That's fine. Like, yeah, it's all timing for me. I'll allow you to have that. Of course, of course. course. It's hard hard for me to think because I don't watch many comedies. I honestly reckon probably the first time I saw Dumb and Dumber in the cinemas. Yeah, same. Was just, (laughs) yeah. Um, Garbage. The hardest I've laughed unintentionally at a movie (laughs) was Braveheart. Ooh, why? The first battle scene where... (laughs) The first battle scene where it's just so brutal. Yeah. I think I'm just laughing at just the brutality of this movie. Fair enough. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a very serious movie and everyone's fighting and everyone's dying so harshly. I'm just laughing my ass. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, Bruce uh, Mel Gibson. I think I found it bigger, longer, uncut. uncut. <laughs> I think that's probably the movie I laughed the most at. In, yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I don't laugh out loud a lot at the mo- at a movie. Yeah, yeah. see. Like, oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm. And you know what I mean? Like, yeah, mine wasn't in the movies. I was at my mate's place. No, yeah. the same thing. I mean, at, yeah. watching at home even. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, hi. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's, I like that line yeah. more than... Yeah. <laughs> it's just not... well, that's just like watching Futurama. It's like, oh, yes, that's very funny. good. Yeah. Yeah, yes. That's very good. That's very smart. That's I, good. I, 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 can't, hat, so. I can't think of one. <laughs> yeah, you're a grump. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's that's probably not wrong. You cringe? Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, What's your favourite comedy? Do you have a favourite comedy? Without <sighs> any much, too much dead, dead air? Or... No, <laughs> no, no I would have to think about it for like mm. a week. Come back. No, that's, I, your, that's your assignment. Would be we'll the see you next week. That's your assignment. Oh, God. I don't know if I could pick one either. Oh, God. I don't watch a lot of comedy either. Oh, I think Spinal Tap's probably up there for me as well. Yeah. It's not laugh out loud, is No, it is though. And mm. on the third and fourth watch, you're like, yeah, no, I, I still think it's not laugh out loud, Spinal Tap. Toy Story. Oh, Toy Story. 
I laugh a lot at Toy Story. Okay. Yeah, they, look, it's a, it's an entertaining script. I don't know if it's, it's laugh Stripes, out loud. Stripes will be my favorite comedy. I think. Yeah. I watched it again the other week. I laugh out loud. Yeah. How much Stripes make you? Mm-hmm. Stripes is like not that ugly. So. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Yes. Three. All right. So I was uh, discussing it with Nitin the other night. We were trying to Ooh, come up with the, the most sporty movie I could find to to I'll smash Dylan, but. That Good is on yeah, a streaming service. All the good All the things, things I thought of. Yeah, they're not available. Like, oh, I was like, what I thought of was maybe Bull Durham. And, Ooh, um, it's not on anything. But it's nowhere. And then we're like, and Nick was like, Raging Bull. I was like, oh, that's a good choice. That's, that's not on anything either. Nah. Ooh. I was like, I'll just go Rocky, right? You know, and yeah, I was yeah. like, Rocky not even on anywhere. Creed is or whatever. That's a good stand. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know, it's good enough. Shit. Um, like I, so then I was like, fine, I'll just pick a, give me semi pro. Not even, nothing. Mm. Um, so I did sit the other night, sit at home, went to every goddamn service I had, sport. These are all shit. Or like a lot of kid movies and yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney sort of, yeah. sort of rubbish, you know? And modern stuff. Yeah. Please, please don't say Karate Kid. No, no, no. Sh- Karate Kid is fantastic. No, it's Jackie Chan. Oh, no, God, no. One where the kid throws the... Is it the rookie, rookie of the Year. Yeah. Rookie of the Year. Yeah, they rubbish like that. Yeah. So um, I just went to my backup of uh, Field of Dreams. It's on something, Stan or Foxtel, one of the two. Yeah, Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Hey, yeah. Dave? What? What's it Have on? you seen Field of Dreams? <laughs> no. Uh, Stan or Foxtel, yeah. one of the two. Or I may, I may watch the game by accident. You never seen it? No, I, I thought I thought my distant gaze was oh. enough. Yeah, I thought maybe. <laughs> it's got Darth Vader in it. Which one? The voice. The good one. Oh, good okay. One. Right. Who wants to watch David Prowse act? Or like Hayden Christensen. He was well, like... Is fucking... there two in this? Yeah. It's mid-80s. Yeah, it's still yeah. being a movie if you're it's on, two. It's on Stan. It's Kevin yeah. Costner. Baseball movie. Can't oh. go wrong. See, because I couldn't get my full Durham. Yeah. Kevin Costner baseball movie, so I went this option. I think Natural's on something, actually. It's and then we look it up and it wasn't. Anyway. Yeah. Just watch Major League. See, I thought that. Oh, it's such a good movie. I'm so pissed yeah. off I couldn't I watched pick it that. recently. I would have picked six movies yeah. in, this, in this one. So, yes. Field of Dreams. All right. Could watch Major League. Could watch Is there a baseball bit? There's not a lot of it's baseball. It's not baseball, in it. really. It's, it's very, very smaltzy. Smaltzy. Yeah. That's what you said about any given sentence. Nah, nah, nah. This no, is no, not. This, 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 definitely. It's not professional. I can't remember. This is more a dude trying to. Yeah. Um, it's good. Dude's relationship with his dad. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dead All right. dad. Magic. That was a bit like magic. Yeah. Oh, there's magic. Yes, there's magic. Sorcery. Magic Johnson in it. It's magic in it. Witchcraft. My favourite. It's a great movie. But. I predict you probably won't like it. It's very, yeah, schmaltzy. Mm. Okay. Should have gone League of Their Own. No, it's too cheeky. It's a great movie. <laughs> it is a great movie, but it's a bit too cheeky. There's so many good movies. It just, yeah. yeah, it just doesn't like sport. Yeah. That's right. That's, so, why, that's why we should do it. It's not too sporty. <laughs> Double round. Magic, I magic. I wonder what Tommy's going to pick next round. <laughs> sport, sport 2. two. <laughs> sport the sequel. Revenge. <laughs> Revenge is a sports ball. <laughs> Second base. Second base. Second base. <laughs> okay. Second base. So yes, enjoy. <laughs> um, Shoot try Joe Jackson. Uh, hmm? Shoot Joe Jackson. You'll understand next week. Okay. Shoot Mr. Burns one of his team. American. Oh, good stuff. If you say so. Nitten n- n- knows everything I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen it? <laughs> I don't remember it, so I'll be, it'll be a rewatch for me for mm. almost the first, not the first time, but I watched it. Shit, when did it come out? Like 90s? Nah, mid-80s, late 80s. Yeah, it's 80s, yeah. I was a kid and I haven't seen it again since, so yeah, it'll be like the first time, to be honest. Yeah, it's not really a movie for kids. Although the most recent, like, Field of Dreams game, the actual MLB game. Yeah, no, I watched it. That was good. I watched the opening. Yeah. Oh, the game came. Down to the wire. Baseball, come on. Yeah, yeah, the only thing I can say this week is Fomi, learn from Fomi this week. I don't know why it took so long. Watch Moon. Sam Rockwell. Go outside and look at the moon. Yeah. No, movie. M- not Moonfall. Isn't that a James Bond movie? No. That's, that's <laughs> Do you like Moonraker? That's Skyfall I want to see Moonfall. Moonfall. Or whatever. What's Moonfall? Moonfall is a, a movie that came out. The it's moon, a disaster movie. The Moon Falls. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I suppose. Nice. Yeah. yeah no, well, this is just Moon. Okay. It's not streaming or anything. Just... Like, Sam if you steal a DVD somewhere, steal it or buy oh. it, whatever. Did JP Hi Fi still have that? I'm sale? sure they probably would. 
But it starts Sam Rockwell. I don't know why Tommy Sam Rockwell. It's phenomenal. It it is phenomenal. You need to watch it. And Sam Rockwell. And Sam Rockwell. (laughs) And Sam Rockwell. I think, like, Sam Rockwell is great in everything. It's his greatest role. He was Galaxy Quest, right? Yes. Yes. I'll just watch that again the other day. Yeah, it is. It is. You've got some close ones. I want to say Seven Psychopaths, but no, it is. Just because it's so much, it's all on him, too. Like, you know, it makes it. Yeah. You've got to give the extra points. Yeah. And a cheeky little robot voice that uh, you may find interesting. Mr. Cancelled. Touchy, <laughs> uh, touchy. So, Alrighty. please subscribe. Yes, please tell give us friends. a like. Yeah, uh, give us a review. Rate yeah. us. Yeah, rating on Spotify would be cool. You'd be like Greatly one of the cool it. kids if you did that. Come back next yeah. week for Jason ranting about Star Wars. And thank you so much for lasting this long. Well done. Yeah. Oh, we, got, we got chapters now. Yeah. Now, now Dylan, Dylan has stuff to down. do it. That's right. It's cool. I'll try my best not to forget no, you ain't tonight now. when I'm doing it at no, you're eleven. All o'clock. the people down that we promised that you're going to have chapters in there and writing, writing, writing. Yeah. <laughs> so good night, Dave. Thank good you. night, Dave. Go to bed, Dave. It's See bedtime. You. Good night, Prime Possum. <laughs> All right. Thanks good for joining us. Bye. We will be back next week. See it's out. Worse now. <laughs> this is a camera, Jason, not your mirror. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Conan style.